Hello! In this demo, I'm going to demonstrate CyberArk's lifecycle management with multi-factor authentication and single sign-on. For my demo, I'm going to create a user in an HR solution, and CyberArk is going to automatically create the user in Active Directory. Next, I'm going to log into CyberArk as the new Active Directory user with multi-factor authentication, and then I'm going to log in and then we'll see the user get automatically created in Office 365 and Salesforce. And then lastly, we'll log in to Office 365 and Salesforce with single sign-on. To begin, I'm going to create a new user in Bamboo HR. Um, the user that we're going to create is called is named Albert. So we'll go ahead and create a new employee. Albert Ang. And we're just going to skip down for our demo purposes. We're going to give a mobile number that we're going to use for multi-factor authentication, an email that's going to be used for provisioning the user in, in Office 365. We'll give this a full, make this a full-time employee that's starting today. And then we're going to put this user in our sales department. So he's going to be one of our sales team leads. And in sales, I'm going to pick the U.S. location and then save. Okay, so just to show you that um, our new user, Albert, does not exist in Office 365 yet. So we'll do a search for Albert. Okay, so we see Albert does not exist in Office 365 and we don't see the user in Salesforce either. So, okay, we don't see Albert in here. And lastly, we don't see the user here in Active Directory. So we're gonna put the user Albert into the business users OU. Right, so just going back to CyberArk, just wanna show you that in CyberArk, uh, I've created a rule that um, anyone in the sales department from the HR solution, it's going to be put into the business users OU in Active Directory. Um, and then we're going to provide automatically create a static password. Uh, option we can auto generate, but for demonstration purposes, we're going to just assume the manager is going to give the end user, the new employee, the uh, temporary password. Um, and then we're going to add the user automatically into the sales a, uh, group in AD. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to kick off the manually kick off the synchronization. Normally, this will be done automatically uh, within about. 10 to 15 minutes, but for demonstration purposes, we're just going to manually kick it off. And then we can go ahead and take a look at the jobs. Okay, so jobs pending. So this normally might take uh, about a few minutes also to complete the provisioning into Active Directory. So we'll pause for a few minutes. Two minutes later. Okay, we're back. So let's go ahead and hit refresh. And we see one item has been synchronized. So if we look at the job, we see that the user for our user got created. All right, so we see our user Albert right, has been successfully added. New password been, has been set. So let's go ahead and take a look at Active Directory. 
and we're going to refresh our Active Directory and now we see Albert has been added and see with the attributes that we've specified with the email address and the mobile number that we've we got from our HR solution right uh, so next we'll go ahead and log into our CyberArk user portal so we'll go ahead and put in our Active Directory credentials. Now, this is the first time Albert is logging into our single sign-on portal and automatically he can log in with his Active Directory credentials. Um, notice the mobile number that we're gonna use for multi-factor authentication. That was the number that we got from the HR solution that was synced to Active Directory and automatically detected by CyberArk to be used for multi-factor authentication. So we'll go ahead and send our text message. Right, so we see our text message here. So right out of the box, we're already using multi-factor authentication. Even though, even though Albert has never logged into CyberArk yet. Right? So optionally, we can require Albert to change his password at first login, but for demonstration purposes, we skip that. Uh, and then also, at first login, we can also force Albert optionally to uh, set up some additional multi-factor authentication as a requirement before he can continue uh, but again, you know, we've made it optional. So if Albert wants to configure additional MFA later, he can by clicking on the notification window up here at the top. Um, and so he can go ahead and uh, add additional multi-factor authentication or go into the account section to set up additional multi-factor authentication key, such as uh, plugging in his FIDO key, if any, or registering his biometrics. Okay, so we're gonna register Albert and then we're gonna use my fingerprint. Okay, so now next time I log in, I can use my fingerprint to log into the, to the CyberArk user portal. Now notice that Albert's already got access to a uh, couple applications that's been signed to him. So let's take a look if um, in here. So Albert already got added into Office 365. And then let's take a look at uh, our Salesforce. Let's refresh that. And now we see Albert also added into Salesforce. So let's take a look and see if we're able to log in. So we're gonna click on Office 365 first. Now this is the first time that Albert's logging in and we just created Albert just a few minutes ago and now he automatically has an Office 365 account. Uh, he signed in without having to re-authenticate. So we only authenticated once again to the CyberArk user portal and within the same portal, Albert can go ahead and log into each of the assigned applications without having to re-authenticate. Okay, so as we notice that an account has been already automatically provisioned by CyberArk in two applications and we're able to authenticate Albert securely into the CyberArk user portal with multi-factor authentication. So what I've, to summarize, what I've demonstrated was CyberArk has automatically created an Active Directory user after we've created the user in our HR portal. And then afterwards, the new employee within right away can log in to CyberArk with multi-factor authentication for single sign-on. Um, and CyberArk has automatically created the user in Office 365 and Salesforce. And we've also 
uh, automatically enable this user to sign in to all these applications with single sign-on. Hope you enjoyed the demo and thanks for watching.